morning, YWLA. This is Ms. Burns, your principal, once again, bringing you announcements. Today is Monday, November the 15th. Everyone, it's an A day. So after advisory, I'm pretty sure you have this figured out by now. That's right. You're going to go to your first, second, third, and fourth period classes. All right, everybody, three quick things for you. Number one, this is Gen Text Week, where we celebrate going to college. We celebrate those who are first-generation college students and on their way to college. Um, today, I hope you all brought your sunglasses because your, fu your future is so bright, you have to wear shades. Tomorrow, Tuesday, it is stepping into success. Students, you can wear your favorite shoes. Well, almost your favorite shoes. Don't wear flip-flops, don't wear slides, don't wear Crocs, don't wear house shoes. Students, be sure that it's tennis shoes, something that stays on your foot. But students, we do wanna make sure that you are stepping into success. And so that's gonna to be tomorrow's celebration for Gen Text Week. Wear your favorite shoes as long as they're still within GPISD dress code. All right, that was thing number one. Thing number two is a reminder, don't forget tomorrow, Tuesday, November 16th is picture day. Remember, you're going to be in your regular school uniform, nothing different on this picture day. Tomorrow, be sure you're in your uniform. All right, this third thing has to do with lunches. Students on Friday, you probably noticed if you were in B, C, or D lunch, that we do clean up a little bit differently instead of everybody standing and hanging out until it's time to go. Um, we're doing it to where when your table's cleaned off, you stand up, when they're finished, you sit down. It went really, really well on Friday. We're gonna keep doing that today, but students, we have a couple more things that we're gonna add to the mix. Number one, students, if you have a temporary ID or no ID, instead of going to your table, you're gonna go wait on the steps of the stage. So if you have temporary ID or no ID, don't go to your table, go to the steps on the stage. You'll be able to get your food after all of the students who brought their IDs get their food. Also, if I have any students who have lonely lunch from now on students, if you have lonely lunch, you're gonna go directly to your seat at lonely lunch and then you'll get your food whenever Ms. Johnson, Ms. Andrews, or Ms. Shaw has you get your food. So a couple of changes in the cafeteria students. Guess what? If you remember your ID, you don't have to wait till everybody else gets their lunch because you get to get your lunch whenever it's time. So remember your ID, don't get lonely lunch, but if you do remember that you have to wait till the people with their ID goes first. Okay, that is all I have for you this morning. Students, I hope everyone had a great weekend and I hope you have a magnificent Monday. Good morning, YWLA students and staff. Happy Mindfulness Monday. As a reminder, today is the kickoff of Gen Text Week. So all throughout this week, you all will receive information on your options after graduation. So you'll learn about different universities, um, careers, and what it is that you can do now to prepare for your future. So I know Thanksgiving break is coming up, and so I'm going to uh, give you all an example. So let's imagine that I am going to go to Hawaii for my Thanksgiving break. So whenever you get ready to take a trip or take a flight, um, you'll receive a boarding pass. And this pass will allow you to get on the airplane. So on the boarding pass, it's going to have your name. It's going to have where you are traveling from. So for example, mine would be traveling from Dallas. And then my destination too would be Hawaii. Okay. Each of you right now, you have an education boarding pass. Those of you who are in sixth grade, your boarding pass, for example, would have your name and it says you are in, currently in sixth grade and you're working your way to seventh grade, right? If you're in seventh grade, your boarding pass would say you're in seventh grade and you're working your way to eighth grade and so on. If you're in 12th grade, well, your boarding pass would say that you're currently in 12th grade and then you get to fill in that next blank. Are you going to a university? Are you uh, gonna go to the military? What is the next step for you? So in my experience, if this was my education boarding pass, uh, in 2008, when I was in the 12th grade, my boarding pass would say 12th grade, and I was going to the University of Texas, Tyler. 
So that's where I went for one year. Then my education boarding pass changed. I went from UT Tyler to UT Arlington. Once I received my bachelor's degree in social work, my education boarding pass changed again, and it went from UT Arlington to UT Austin, where I got my master's degree in social work. So what I want you all to think about today is what is your education boarding pass going to say when you make it to the 12th grade? Is it going to say that you're on your way to a university? Is it gonna say that you're on your way to the military? Do you plan to maybe work with the family business that your family has? What is it going to say? And if you feel like you do not know the answer to that question, that is why we are gonna provide you with a lot of information this week to let you know what your options are. So it's not too late, it's not too early to start thinking about where you plan to go once you graduate. If you ever have any questions about your options or your future, you can always reach out to the counselors there in room 512. You can reach out to me. I'm sure your teachers would love to tell you their story and what their education boarding passes were like, um, but ask questions and know that we're here to help make sure that you're able to fill out your boarding pass and pursue higher education um, and even more success once you graduate. Have a great day. You can send them a gobblegram for a dollar. Your gobblegram will be delivered Friday, November 19th, during fourth period. Thank you from the National Junior Honor Society. <laughs>